Yo, yo, yo. What is good out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it is all about the brand new After Hours Nightclub DLC. It has finally been released. All right, today, July 24th, 2018. All right, so it's a Tuesday, like most other DLC releases that Rockstar does. And this one, I must say right off the bat, is a good one. All right, we're going to be talking about a lot. Uh, mainly first impressions in this video. So my first impressions of the DLC uh, intro to the nightclubs and kind of give you a feel for what you will be getting into in case you haven't actually, you know, updated yet. All right. So everybody should be updating though. It won't let you actually open up your game until you update. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the new missions that I, we've done so far and the new vehicles and also how all the cutscenes are actually really good and entertaining. But anyways, here we go. We are first spawning in. This is right after I actually did the update and I spawned in. Uh, I wanted to include this part for you glitches out there that were worried about maybe getting outfit wiped. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody else is good, but I know my Xbox account is 100% good. Uh, all my modded outfits are still there, even the duffel bags. So that's good. I've also checked my modded cars on this account and the modded cars are still there. So from what it looks like there, we haven't lost anything in the uh, glitch world, at least cosmetic wise. But yeah, once you first open up your phone after the update, go to the Maze Bank website and then you will see all the new icons there. All right. These are all of our nightclubs. OK, those are the clubhouses. Looks like they're on sale right now. But the nightclubs are right here and they're all pretty cheap, to be honest with you. They're really not that expensive. The most expensive one is one point seven million dollars, which is that one right there. The West Vinewood nightclub. All right. Um, I want to kind of make this a little bit of a buying guide as well. I've already bought the $1.7 million one and I've been in three public sessions and a bunch of people have that one already. So you might want to steer clear away from that. I'd also steer clear away from Del Perro because a lot of people are going to be wanting to get stuff that's close to their apartments and stuff. So maybe get something out of the way. But uh, yeah, so right now I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I bought this one, the most expensive just for the hell of it. So I can show you guys, you know, how much money I'm going to be spending here. But you can pick your nightclub style. I picked the middle one just because it was pretty much blue, honestly, and that's my color. But uh, yeah, and right now in the second category, you can pick light rigs. And this is actually a really cool option and customization, especially the fact that they have really cool previews, like little video clip previews that show you the lighting rigs that you will be putting in your nightclub. So you have four choices, and honestly, they're all pretty cool, but it's up to you. I like lasers, so I went with the lasers. And uh, now you go over to the uh, nightclub name. Now over here, I thought we would be able to actually make our own nightclub names. I guess not with a cool font and, you know, neon lights, I guess. But that's all good. I guess we could pick from here. These are kind of cool names. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go with Galaxy here. And uh, this was interesting. All right. So right here is where you can actually add up the different floors for how much storage you want and also extra floors for cars in your garage. So. I pretty much maxed it out. Uh, why not? You know, I got the money on this account, so I'm going to fully max it out. And I want to show you guys what the most expensive nightclub and the most expensive upgrades all cost. Now, once you're over here at the dancers, it's your choice. You can choose girls and guys and uh, different styles as well. So or all girls, it's all up to you. But yeah, go ahead and pick one, whichever one you want. And then I might as well throw in the dry ice for 345K, <laughs> you know, for a cool little smoky effect. <laughs> But all in all, it ended up pretty much being $5 million. Okay, and then you get a new contact in your phone, which is Gay Tony. Okay, so, all right, so now head over to your brand new purchase nightclubs. Where's the light man? Brian, give me a fucking spotlight. So that right there is Laszlo. If you don't remember him, he's from story mode. Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. It's off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Yeah, yeah. So that's Gay Tony and Laszlo. Those are the first characters that will be introduced. And uh, if you guys remember Laszlo, he's from the story mode where, uh, you know, fame or shame, where Michael's daughter got put on there and he pretty much like kicked his ass and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's Laszlo. And... Uh, you, we pretty much once you're once you've gone deep into this animation, uh, Tony will kind of just bring you around the facility. Well, I guess the facility, man, I'm stuck in the old DLC. He'll bring you around the new nightclub and kind of show you around where your storage is going to be. Pretty much letting you know on the down low that he doesn't care what you do low key as long as he kind of just, you know, doesn't know about it. So he'll turn a blind eye. 
but that's basically what it is. We're going to run a nightclub and we're going to be doing side businesses and he wants all of the money, but none of the blame, none like that. He doesn't want to be, you know, affiliated with it, but he definitely will take a big cut. All right. Or at least a, a decent cut. You know, we still have to see. This is all first impressions right now. But yeah, so once you log into your computer, you're going to have the setup missions, all right? So you need to set up two setup missions for this nightclub DLC, which is interesting. We've only ever had one setup mission for a business. But for this first one, you need to bring around and, you know, collect your, your staff, all right, for your nightclub. So it consists of three people for this mission. It's nice and simple. They actually give you a chapter, the armored chapter, which is really nice. I love this car. So you get to drive around this, but you want, you need to pick up your warehouse technician, head bouncer, and head bartender. Once you bring these guys back over to your nightclub, then you are all staffed up. You've completed that part of the setup. The second setup is actually going to get music equipment. And the place we're getting the music equipment is out here in Blaine County. And you're actually going to be finding this. It's pretty much a school bus, man. That's like a short bus or something. And it's got a full stage DJ set, uh, light fixtures, speakers, everything mounted on top and on the side of the bus. So you pretty much have to steal this thing and take it back. It's not really an exciting mission. It's pretty boring. But fun little thing that happened to me after a long drive, I actually lost the skull right there, the light fixture skull that was on top of the stage. And uh, everybody else fell off as well. But you can still bring it back even damaged and you will finish up the mission. All right. So now this is the part where pretty much we've completed both setups and you you know like i said i'm not going to spoil any cutscenes or anything like that it's just a brief overview of these first impressions and uh this next mission which is pretty much the last one until you can have full access to your nightclub is when you actually need to go pick up the dj at the airport all right and this is solomon and it's funny what actually ends up happening uh the pilot for some reason is fast asleep and this guy has to figure out a way how to get the plane down safely but yeah i'm not spoiling anything we're gonna go ahead and move on and Basically, once you've done that, the nightclub is yours. All right. It's time to actually, you know, go around and do stuff, have fun with this. Uh, I am really excited about this DLC and I got so pumped right after this scene right here because I wanted to go make I wanted to go make my video and I was just super excited about dancing and stuff in the club. But I'll show you that at the very end. So right now we're going to open up our phones and go on the Internet and we're going to look at what there is brand new to purchase. So here in the Warstock website, there are two brand new trucks that are already on sale that you can go ahead and purchase. Nothing crazy there. Uh, Legendary Motorsport. We do have two very nice cars. The Ocelot Swinger, which is super cool. It looks like, you know, Speed Racer-esque type car. And then the Dinka Jester Classic, which we should have gotten last update, but we ended up getting it this one. But it's about time we finally got it, so... That's some really good news. You can go ahead and pick those up. Nothing in Elite is travel, but Southern San Andreas actually has the festival bus, which we just stole. And with a bunch of different uh, liveries, I guess. Yeah, you can call them liveries. But a bunch of different, you know, options right there to actually customize. So that's kind of neat. I don't know if I'm really going to purchase this. Maybe I will for the hell of it. But yeah, so you have the option to purchase that as well as the Mammoth Patriot, which is pretty much the stretched Hummer. Okay, so you have a trade price and a buy it now. If you look at the trade price, it says you need to complete five club management missions as one of those VIP CEO or biker. So you have to just, you know, complete five of those and then you can get it up for the trade price nice and cheap. But those are pretty much everything, you know, that's that's everything that you can, you know, get at this point in the DLC. Uh, this is the clip that right now got me into really wanting to go make this video as soon as possible. Uh, the music's the music is awesome. The club itself is really cool. Having this atmosphere in GTA 5 online, uh, and you can actually dance with the beat and stuff by pressing and tapping A. I guess it would be X on PlayStation. But yeah, this is all in all a really, really cool DLC. I'm not even joking with you. I spent probably a good five minutes or 10 minutes just dancing right here and just chilling in the club. There's a huge menu that you can actually, you know, change up your dances and stuff. It's not just tapping A the whole time, but you can bring up the menu and the controls. And like you see right there, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a first impressions video. I will be making some more future videos on the DLC, but I just wanted to kind of have a preview for everybody that wasn't able to maybe download it yet, or just wanted to see, you know, before they were able to actually get on uh, their Xbox or PS4 or PC and get the download going. Okay. 
So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.